Hello and welcome back to Lorefan Gaming Plays Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host Lorefan and this is Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough slash let's play slash playthrough video. We're going to go ahead and go through two fights, the Drunk Cobalt and finally the Ancient Giant Eagle fight. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Dungeon Dragon View games that are builds, guides, and walkthroughs just like this. Now in the last video, we arrive at this spot. We had to do two fights. One with a bunch of undead, the other one with those uh, cat-like creatures that, you know, if you cast magic against them, they go crazy. Let's not waste any more time. Go ahead and do some exploring. Let's uh, go ahead and explore this area. I didn't have time to do it in the last video because of those magic cats, but still, let's check this out. All right, let's see what this book is all about. Oh, more about the Dawn Master. Mm, that's uh, very good. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to see if there's anything else. Weapons and such. Oh, good. This is a good potion. I think I already learned it. Potion of Animal Speaking. That is really useful. I mean, in this game, just like the vein original saying 1 and 2, you uh, definitely want to have the ability to talk to animals. Reason being is they'll give you your quests or a whole bunch of information. Just trust me on that. This game, yeah, they'll uh, give you a whole bunch of information mainly. I think I did get a quest from him. I don't remember, but still, let's do some more exploring. Beforehand, let's listen to this. Tell me, Lazel. Is it like Leon? Well. Githyanki lay their eggs on other planes. They cannot mature in the astral. I will only be welcomed once I obtain a Mind Flayer's head. I am so glad that Gale and Lizelle is getting along just fine. That is uh, great. It's a nice sign of relief. So let's uh, go ahead and do some more exploring and also climbing too. Let's uh, check this water out. And look at that. This is good. So let's dig up this uh, hole, see if there's a chest. Usually chests are a random treasure. Now I advise if you want to save scum, go ahead. Me, I'm just going to go ahead and let it lie. And there you go. That's a nice ring. I'll hopefully uh, find a vendor to uh, definitely sell all that. Oh, speaking of uh, vendors, I do need to get Lysel uh, some armor equipped. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, check this out. Okay, plate armor. I think that's uh, either full plate or just uh, plate plate. I'm kind of hoping I do find some full plate, but I think that might be the full plate. Yeah, usually full plate, they're the highest uh, mundane armor tier in the game until it gets magically enchanted or something else is uh, better along the lines. Ah, uh, that looks good. Oh, yeah, I forgot Barbarians. Again, medium armor only. Unless you do a Barbarian Rogue, then uh, put them with light armor. Just trust me. So, I'm going to do some climbing while I'm doing that. It's tactics talk time. So, here's the deal. The Drunk Goblins, uh, they will like to toss fire at you and also acid from time to time. If you have trouble, just have one character lure them outside the room and then, of course, uh, get them at one uh, area and just kill them. Now, if you have great weapon uh, characters like myself, Lizelle, or Karlak, well, guess what? They have ability that uh, if they uh, kill one foe, they have another shot of free. And sometimes they'll uh, kill them. It's kind of like Cleave, but it's like better. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start the fight. I will return after they're all gone. Spirits. Fire could be explosive. Thank you. 
Joseph. Make way. I won't give in. time. for another round. Poor fucker. Let's move. Uh, At the ready. Now, that was a simple fight. I definitely did keep, of course, uh, Gale out of danger. That was my main goal. My other three fighters wrecked the uh, joint up. Yeah, I'm doing this heavy uh, setup melee because I want to get some of their approval, a few of them, and definitely Lysel up there. I have a gut feeling that Lysel, if I do her personal quest, all good things will come to me. Carlac, I need to definitely uh, go ahead and try to get her approval up. I know if I start so I use a soul coin next time, I might uh, do it. I'll have to do it in the future, though, not next time. Okay, so here's the deal. What I just looted up. I looted up a uh, mace. This is a ceremonial mace. Uh, this weapon is all right, but it's kind of used for it is for a puzzle. Well, actually, it is used for a puzzle. Uh, do not consider it at all to uh, take it with you because there's a better item out there that, uh, of course, you will definitely need. I don't know which item it is yet. I am currently discovering that since there's a puzzle. Yeah. So anything ceremonial you need to take. I'll show you later on in the video on where to exactly uh, take it. Oh, wow. I really messed them all up. And I put that trunk there very nicely. Well, let's see here. Cobalt Scout. That's all good. Let's uh, check there. Oh, yeah. Acid. I got to remember, just keep on using water to clean that up. And again, I use some kind of acid vial to, uh, you know, do have some fun. And that's about it for this area, so I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, off-screen save very soon and level up.
So here's the deal. Uh, for those of you who are coming in, I always do is uh, level up in front of everybody, see uh, how I'm doing. I might change things in the future with uh, certain builds, but for now, let's level up my uh, Paladin. There you go, level 6, my uh, Paladin. I'm going pure on this one. Let's see what we get. Aurora of Protection that is really good. Now I get to change in uh, preparation of spells too, which is even uh, better. Let's check this out. All right, there's level 2. Uh, nothing else there. I'm kind of forced into that situation, but that's fine. Aurora protection. I think it gives you a boost in AC, which is uh, good. No, actually, yeah, uh, plus three bonus on saving throws. I thought that was AC, but no, that's good enough, though, because we're going to need that. As for uh, the next person, Karlak, yeah, we're going to level up the Barbarian. Now, here's the deal. We get a new uh, future this time, an additional rage charge. That's good, and also we get to have another one, too. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, pick another uh, p powers of uh, another aspect. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just say it. I felt like the tiger was the uh, best one because uh, the reason is uh, this. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, explain on that when we get there. Now, uh, tiger, you gain an additional strength modifier to attack rolls against bleeding and such. And you get survival, which helps out in chesses. Well, actually, mounts to dig up, but still. Uh, Lysel's next, so let's level her up. She's going to have uh, another feat. Yeah, fighters get more feats. So what we're going to do with this time is I'm going to go ahead. I was going to do Charger so she could charge on in. However, I felt like it was better to uh, get her ability scores. I'm going to try to get that to 19. So I have a gut feeling I have a few more feats to uh, get. So I'll get her to 20, and I'll get Dexterity, then I'll get Charger then. So that's about it. Let's go on to Gale. Now, uh, Gale, on the other hand, yep, he's a wizard level 6. I get some nice options. Oh, 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 we uh, look like we got another uh, charger, so. And now we get to select another uh, level 3 spell, or since I circle 3, it depends on how you look at it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick counter spell because I felt like that's a good idea. So this way, if I could ch uh, hit that, and that's good enough. Uh, another thing I'm going to go ahead and do is, for now, I might change along the line if I find more scrolls. As, well, it's not going to do Vampiric Touch because I don't like to, uh, you know, use touch range with a caster. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Animate uh, Dead. And if I'm in a tough fight, I might as well summon it. This might be a long rest thing of if I have a certain Undead with me. I'm going to go ahead and see if I'm going to summon a boss and then rise it back up. Maybe give said boss like a uh, sword I'm going to sell. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. Ga gas form is good. I have to look for a scroll for that too. It's going to cost me 100 uh, 50 gold to scribe that. I'm not going to do any level 2 spells. I could definitely scribe them like uh, crazy. And uh, there we go. We're done leveling everybody up. So let's explore. So let's uh, go ahead and explore everyone. Let's have some fun doing so. Oh wow. I'm getting some nice uh, stuff out of this. Oh yeah. I have web. I might need to change that up some. And let's uh, go ahead and do some switcheroos. I don't need web. Yeah. It kind of forced me to get that. I'm going to need to switch, uh, let's see here, you out for you. And there you go. We're all set and uh, good to uh, go. And uh, this does this target must be medium and long or uh, short corpse. Yeah, kobolds might not be a good idea to uh, do it. Seriously, bad idea. But still, if I need uh, something like that in the future, I'll uh, definitely do so. I'm thinking the Gith Yankee up ahead in case I have to fight him in some form will be a good uh, target for it. And let's uh, check this way. So, oh wait, let's. I forgot to grab that. Yeah, let's grab that water. That might be useful in the uh, future. Let's see here. Anything else is there? Oh wow, there's a lot of ale there. No wonder the goblins were uh, drunk. Well, I, oh no, no, not the goblins. Uh, my mistake. The kobolds. Yeah, I'm still thinking about the goblin camp I did slaughter. Fun times. And I just slaughtered a uh, kobold uh, bachelor party. I think it was. Or a uh, cobalt wine tasting party. I don't know. They all died. Yeah, they love food and wine. Well, guess what? They die because they love food and wine. They try to have their little festival, but they failed. Okay, let's get everybody through the acid. I should have just at the time, you know, put some water there, but that's all right. Let's go back climbing because we have to go a totally different direction now. Yep, we're going to have to go up top because if I remember right... Uh, we're going to get to the monastery panels next. In this video, we're going to get two out of the three, uh, I should say, things done with that. Actually, the first one's already done. I'll explain much more uh, better 
when we do arrive. For now, let's do some nice climbing. Or actually climb back there and go a little bit higher. So let's keep on jumping. Yeah, that's strange. Gail is now able to jump at this far. But oh, well, that is a uh, really good sign. So let's go ahead and hear our uh, two friends getting along. Tell me, Gail, what is your interest in the astral plane? Time, or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. It will be my home soon enough, should Vlakith will it. Uh, I do love it when party members get along just fine. So I guess they're a good uh, team. Let's uh, go ahead and loot some things up before I go to the monastery panels. Now, uh, this puzzle you uh, definitely want to do. Because I think I heard, or it might end up, you get a very good weapon or so. You get something good, I heard. That's all I have to say. I'm still discovering uh, what I get after I did solve the puzzle. Still, after I'm uh, done showing everybody what the panels do, each of them, I'm going to go ahead and tell everybody how this uh, puzzle works. It is a really, really fun puzzle to do. And there is that nice panel. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Here's how uh, this works. You see the ceremonial longsword. Well, we have to match it to the correct table, or say stone table. And uh, if you uh, did pay attention to the clues, you'll uh, figure out uh, the correct weapon and such. Me, I kind of pay attention to it, but still, you know what? Let's do it the old uh, fashioned way. Just keep on putting a weapon there until I get it right. Now, if you put the wrong weapon there, I'll have to show you this. I think that is it for the mace. I might be wrong on that 100%. Yeah, uh, you can also go to the panel too if you uh, need uh, some more hints. It's unlimited, so do not panic at all. So let me uh, go ahead and uh, put that mace there. I have three more slots. The long swords to give me. Yeah, if it's wrong, you drop the weapon and you fall down. Yeah, you take a little damage, but I have plenty of potions to uh, take care of that issue. Let's go ahead and put the mace over here, see if I'm right or wrong. And yeah, so when the uh, table lights up like that, you did it correctly. So uh, in this uh, next part of the video, we're going to go ahead and, of course, get the Warhammer. So let's uh, go ahead and do some more exploring. I believe it's time to go much more higher. Hopefully we'll find where this uh, weapon is at. You have a particular way with words, Gale. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. They're not mutually exclusive. The weave is served best with a dash of eloquence. I am not sure if the Oath of the Ancients, of course, will uh, break the Oath if you attack the Eagles. I know Oath of Devotion doesn't do that. I'm not going to grab the Short Sword. Yeah, I'm still way down. Uh, that door, I have not figured out how to open besides lock picking. However, uh, that's going to be for the next video. Yeah, I had time for the Eagles and, of course, placing the other one there. For now, we're going to climb up, talk to Ancient Eagles. I'm going to accidentally get into a fight after I speak with them. So, wish me good luck. Intruder! In my nest! This area was meant to be safe! Xavier, get behind mommy! Xavier! Xavier! Don't talk to it! It might have germs! Oh, 
tread the strongest eardrum. It's calling for help. Let's cook with fire, baby. there. That was a fun fight. It was a little bit tougher, but it was actually simple. 
yeah, the goblins much more easier to kill. The eagles were great to uh, destroy. Didn't want to do it, but oh well, we got the warhammer, so that's all that matters. Yeah, I accidentally walk on the nest, and that was it. Still, a uh, great part about this, uh, I should say, heavy uh, melee party is, of course, once again, great weapon fighting. Uh, I still have to uh, modify uh, maybe Carlac. Lizelle, I might have her uh, down pat. My paladin, yeah, jury, jury's still out on that. I still want to finalize everything. Gale, on the other hand, easy vocation, so I have to still uh, pick which spells I uh, definitely want to use. That looks like a Githyanki weapon or so. We're going to ignore that for uh, now. Or something else ancient. I don't know. Let's go ahead and loot up these giant eagles. Oh, man, they were a good experience. But then again, I'm level 6, so... Yeah, I'm going to need experience for 7 now, so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze much of it out as uh, possible. So we got this, uh, I should say, Warhammer done. I'm going to go ahead and loot this area up as much as I can before uh, leaving, of course, uh, to put that Warhammer there. Let's see here. Okay, that looks like it's uh, nothing there. I'll definitely get in the next video. Yeah, I'm going to be spending some time in this area, this video in the uh, next. You uh, definitely want to spend some time at, if you decide to do the Monastery Trail first or uh, last. I should say, yeah, definitely explore everything. I'm going to be uh, blunt. This is much more sure than the Underdark. Still, it's both of them are equally uh, fun. This is like a nice outdoor area. The Underdark is your uh, classic Dungeon Dragons Underdark. And Larian Studios did a great job of it. The prowess in battle is remarkable, as is your battle stance itself. Hrathajak, a technique known to few outside Kalir. Shall I teach you? I'll pass, thank you. I prefer abjuration over acrobatics. So here's the uh, deal, everyone. Looks like uh, Gale and uh, Lysel might be a couple. I turn her down, definitely turn Gale down, so I don't know. Anyways, they're really getting along. That's great. So we're uh, going back to the uh, panels to uh, turn in that, of course, Warhammer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the correct place now. I'm going to go ahead and review that in the next video for those of you who are coming into that. Still, once again, those of you just coming in this part of the video, if you put in the wrong place, you get your butt knocked down. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you that maybe. Maybe I'll get myself knocked down. Let's move that over. Yeah, let's see if I fly. Let's see if the Paladin does fly. Yeah, Paladin just flew and I just took five damage. Oops. And I didn't get knocked out. I still have that nice Aurora, I should say Aurora Courage or Devotion. Yeah, the one that gives me save throws. You get more, I heard, later on. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, drop it at the correct spot. Ed, there you go. Lights are on. And we got one more uh, left, but that'll be for uh, next time. So let's uh, go uh, this direction and uh, this way. Let's uh, jump across. I think it's somewhere. I thought I saw that door. It might be that door I uh, seen. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's this way. Okay, I have to go uh, east now real quick. That's the last spots I need to check. Yeah, I'm going to try to clean out everything as much as possible before uh, going back to the Underdark. I'm going to be blind. I'm not going to come back here. Yeah, that's the deal. There's that door, and on the other side is the wall. That'll be for next time. By the way, that is where the final uh, ceremonial item is at. So let me uh, check this book out. Let's check. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. And uh, let's check this by. Oh, wow, my perception just kicked in, and there's a wall. Uh, I'm going to have to break that next time because the uh, reason being is, is uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, parts I want to explore in this area. I want to tie it all together. Yeah, we're going to loot this place up. The uh, first thing I did was defeat some drunk kobolds. Lysel and Gale is getting along great. After that, I met the ancient giant eagle and its family. I accidentally walked into the nest and, of course, uh, got the hammer. Also, I did get the mace, too. Solved the panels puzzle, which is the mason uh, warhammer. Yeah, I fell down twice. That was a uh, good times. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough video, we're going to complete that puzzle, get a very valuable clue, and get some loot along the way before going inside the crash that Lysel wants to get into. This is it for my Baldur's Gate 3 walk through the mountain pass, uh, Rosy Morn Monastery Trail, Drunk Cobalt, and Ancient Giant Eagle Fight video. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night, and do please stay safe.
Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.